three ways to improve and master your self-discipline. How many of you watching this video have got a dream, a vision, a big goal? How many of you have something that you really want to achieve in your life? Perhaps it's launching a business idea, gaining financial freedom, being able to travel the world, spending time with your loved ones. How many of you want to be able to contribute and give back and make a difference in this world? In order to do this, we must master our self-discipline. So often I see the majority of society having these insane, amazing ideas, but they never take action because they haven't mastered their self-discipline. So what's the first way that we can improve that? Create good habits and write that down. Creating good habits. Those that are truly successful and happy and are living the life that they have created and designed for themselves. Let's think of Richard Branson, Les Brown, Tony Robbins, Tiger Woods, all of these huge names. The people that are truly mastering life have mastered their discipline and they have solid habits. Perhaps it's having a morning routine. So always being able to wake up and start your day totally in control and in charge of your mindset and setting that intent for the rest of the day. By the way guys, if you'd like to see a video about morning routine and A, how you can structure your morning routine, but B, why it's so important and so valuable to you, please comment in the box below and I will create a video on that for you. So back to the habits, creating good habits. Being able to take, say, half an hour a day to read, to educate yourself, inspire, motivate. Again, to be able to constantly keep growing, but more importantly, taking that action to where you want to be. Waking up with purpose, spending the day working hard and having that strong work ethic. It's all about your habits. In the evening, do you come home and just open a bottle of wine, have a beer, and watch TV all night long? And by the way, guys, I can absolutely relate to that because it was me. But my question is, will those habits, or for example, wasting time on your mobile phone, how many of you get out your phone and you just go onto social media, whether it's Facebook, Twitter, whatever it is, Instagram, and you just scrolling it's wasting your time does that and those evening those bad evening habits does that take you towards what you really want to achieve or does it just keep you stuck keep you stagnant that is number one creating great habits for yourself number two is having self-awareness self-awareness understanding who you are, what it takes for you to be inspired and driven and move forward, but also being able to see where you're holding yourself back. Are you complaining? And again, some of us don't even realize that we do it. And I want you to know now that it's very natural to complain or to feel negativity towards something. Self-discipline is about mastering that primitive base desire inside of yourself. Because our brain's most natural function is to protect us, it's survival. But no longer are we in a world where we need to run away from saber-toothed tigers and constantly be living in big fear. Now, our comfort zone, despite so many advances, has become smaller. But we're not aware we feel that that little voice talking to us in our head and which little voice? Say hello. Don't say it out loud, but say hello. That little voice. In order to really progress, we need to master and become aware of this little voice so that we can change it. So that when fear or worry or anxiety step in, we have the ability to move forwards anyway. So start to notice, how are you speaking to yourself? What do you say? Do you allow that little voice or the monkey or chimp, as some of you might have read the chimp paradox, are you allowing that little voice to rule your every day and therefore your week, your month, your year and your life? 
or are you flexing the muscle to be able to become self-aware and more than that have the ability to jump in change your thought pattern and therefore change your behavior your action and of course therefore your results and last but not least you have got to get yourself an accountability buddy an accountability buddy how many of you do more for other people than you do for yourself I was absolutely that person constantly people pleasing and doing more for others and then stating all these ideas and all these motivated moments on what I wanted to achieve and what I wanted to do for example how many of you on New Year's Eve or New Year's Day you've sat down and you've written all of those New Year's resolutions and then come the middle of January maybe February you're already given up you've already stopped now part of that reason is as I've said earlier you haven't created good habits you haven't become self-aware of the moment that you give in to temptation and what's caused that but last and not least you haven't made that public declaration you haven't voiced to a friend a mentor or a coach to hold you accountable to that public declaration that you make to that idea that goal for example if you want to run the marathon is it something that you just say in your head or do you share it make a public declaration I am going to run the marathon and then find yourself a mentor or an accountability buddy that is going to a be able to give you a perspective or an action plan on exactly how you can allow yourself to be able to run the marathon because it takes training right and therefore somebody that's going to hold you accountable to taking the necessary action in order to truly smash that goal so those are my three strategies to help you improve and master your self-discipline because so many of us have this idea to live life to the full and we don't know if we'll still be here tomorrow now please don't get me wrong I urge and I encourage that as well but if you really want fulfillment if you truly desire and yet will achieve that freedom lifestyle that so many of us are looking for you have to get yourself someone a mentor a coach that will hold you accountable to moving forward that's it from me but don't forget guys I am committed to making daily videos of inspiration motivation and education please remember hit the subscribe button the notifications so that you get that ding-a-ling to let you know that the warrior is here to support us all in rising together growing together to achieve what is important to us thanks guys and I will see you on tomorrow's video